about Haskell's performance today. What do you guys think about Haskins? Uh, his performance? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. He'll be doing that all year. Uh, and I feel like he should be in New York and win the Heisman. And then talking a little bit about the redshirt seniors that are leaving, what does it mean to have that veteran group leaving next year? I don't know what you guys are thinking about, but what was it like to have Dixon Campbell and uh, McLaurin? Uh, you know, it was great, you know, um, with the leadership in our room. You know, we had some changes in our room, and I felt like we took uh, – we took it all in good because of the veterans in our room and the, um, the leader wise and their leader, not just leaders uh, in the receiver room, they're the leaders on the uh, whole team. You know, they give us speeches before the game, after the game, uh, win, lose, or draw. So, and everybody listens. How much do you think that was able to help Haskins this year become accustomed to being a leader? I helped him a lot, you know, with veteran receivers out there instead of young receivers. Uh, helping him push uh, into being and molding into a great player, you know. With I feel like that talent out there helped him raise his game a lot too. Can you talk a little about this game? What was the struggle in that third quarter when Northwestern was starting to come back a little bit? Uh, it wasn't nothing. Um, it was just a chess match, you know. We was when we was passing, they was dropping eight, you know. When we wanted to run, they would blitz. So it was just a chess match, you know. Uh, but we overcame it. With a great OC as Coach Day always does, and we got behind him and we rallied to uh, 45 points. Do you think you guys proved enough to make a statement to the committee that you deserve to be in the playoffs? I feel like we have, you know, but it's a way over my head and what I can say. So, um, is there anything? Did you guys watch the games earlier? They were the Texas and Georgia game. Oh uh, yeah, we uh, watched some of them, uh, you know, during our breaks and stuff. But we know it, would, it wouldn't matter if we didn't come out here and. Make a statement ourselves. How do you make that? How does? How do you make that not matter? Because of how important it is in the playoffs and all that. How do you not let that get in your head? Hey, my bad. Hey, can you do this? Do this over here. Do this over here. Question. No, man. What was the question again? It was how do you not let the games like the Oklahoma, Texas, and Bama, Georgia? How do you not let that get in your head coming to this game? Ah, uh, you know, um, because like if you don't win. None of that matters, you know. And if you don't make a statement out there, none of it matters. So we watch it, you know, just enjoying football, watching college football. You know, it was great games on the day. But uh, most of the times we was in means and uh, walkthroughs and a lot. How do you look at this season as a whole, just looking back, going into the future? Uh, we had a lot of adversity this season, you know, starting in the summer. And, uh, coming into the season, you know, but I feel like we went through it all, you know, and I feel like that's why at the back end of the season that we finished how we finished, you know, with being the team up north, how we fin uh, uh, did and winning the Big Ten. Um, will, it, will you consider it any sort of letdown if you don't make the playoff, like to go to the Rose or anything like that? Do you really consider that a letdown at all? No, because I feel like we did what we were supposed to do, and that's went out, you know, and uh, become Big Ten champions, and wherever we end up playing, and it's going to be the same uh, mentality. Thanks,